Dudes be really out here fucking it up for the real niggas, bro. I ain't never met a generation full of niggas that act like bitches. Niggas be thinking for that's a female for her money is the thing to do. You broke, starving, gang banging ass bum. Put that bitch out. Send him home to his mama. Niggas be thinking that's the thing. Driving her car, financing her for her taxes or her paycheck. Man, you niggas is starving, homeless ass bum man on phone them gray. Niggas is bitches. What's up, y'all? This is 1028 Awakenings, and I'm back again with another motherfucking video. I don't really know what's going to come out, um, but we, we going to see, <laughs> okay? All right, Scorpios, let's see what's going on in the grid. Thank you so much for all your love, your support. Uh, continue to support my channel. My channel is growing. I'm so grateful for that. So let's get into it, Scorpio. Earth worship. Until my body is in your arms, I will worship you, dear mother of mine, okay? So Scorpios, with this um, earth worship, this is basically just saying that, you know, you're grounding yourself, you're rocking your crystals, you could be venturing into wearing natural, using natural things, you know, shea butter, crap like that. Even if you're a dude, you like, you know what I'm saying, I, I need to let journeys go, <laughs> okay? So you're really tapping into that earthly things now the thing about this is this is how you great you're thankful for the world or you show your appreciation to the plants now a lot of people don't understand this so i'm going to break this down money has ears that's the easiest one to start with and a lot of people are like what but if you listen to this man called reverend ike money is a vibrational pattern everything is alive that we create okay a book is alive that we create because when you read it the words jump off the pages they go into the mind and they create a new alternate universe however that person sees it in their mind right same thing with money you know you get the money like oh i can spend it on hoes money clothes you know you see it like oh i can spend it on cars and yachts and planes you know everybody's intuition or intentions that's the right word everybody's intentions for that money is different but everybody can manifest it everybody can do that but a lot of people do it in very um wrong ways and some people do it in the right ways but it's a short number of people who do that now normal people who grew up in poverty which is 95 percent of the world okay they grew up with some kind of adversity or something along those lines anytime they get something good they tarnish it with a negative thought like man everything up but i know i'm gonna come down it's like why why do you know you're gonna do that and if you make that decree that you are you will okay so with earth worship this is basically saying you're using money to make people happy like buying the person behind you something to eat you're using money to uh put into your business so that you can put more options so you can help more people buy whatever product that you have to make them feel good when they put their clothes on or make them feel good when they jump in whatever product this is you also could be making candles shea butter uh, sea moss all these natural things and these things are how we praise the earth this is how we praise by eating it we praise it by using it okay so the things that you're doing is making people stop and say like damn what you use on your your face you like nigga water you know <laughs> you know okay these crystals are heightening you too as well scorpio i feel like not only that because you walk with crystals you protect yourself it keeps people away from you it keeps negative energy away from you you can feel the energy saying like i want to talk to you i want to communicate with you i wish i could say something to you but i feel like these crystals that you keep on you keep this stuff away we got a wildcat. So with this lion here, this could be somebody who um, was lucky, okay? Because this kind of thing looks like a horseshoe on top of their head. But it says, be still and tune in for there is something afoot lurking alongside of you, okay? So there is somebody, Scorpio, who was looking at you. This could be a lion, okay? They could be a Libra. Um, they could be a Leo. A line could be very significant as well as a horseshoe, but somebody is looking at you. Okay, this is a wildcat. This is somebody who did some some strange shit for a piece of change. I'm not sure what that means, but you know, with 444, they're being supported. Okay, so whoever this is, they are watching you alongside of you. You could be bumping into this person, seeing this person. Okay, you could be bumping into everything that this person got going on, and that's really because this group of people are talking about you. The only reason that you bump into people that you know that you're not talking about, thinking about uh sleeping about nothing is because these people are having dialogue conversation about you scorpio so you could be running into people like damn why the fuck am i running in this motherfucker but it's because of guilt shame yep because you a bee okay so what do bees do bees normally have a queen bee and they migrate to that person for nourishment clarity and everything okay so everything that you want is coming to you scorpio it says you know don't drink all of life 
from one flower for there are many to taste and many to explore okay so scorpios I feel like that's just saying like, you know, don't have all your eggs in one basket. And when I say that, I'm not talking about men. I'm not talking about female. I'm talking about money. Okay. You need to be having multiple streams of income. This queen bee has tons of bees that go out. They go to different trees. They pollinate and they come back and they give to her. So whatever you are doing, Scorpio, whether you be a man or a woman, you know how to make it multiply. I had did a reel the other day that was talking about how a phenomenal woman or a phenomenal man, it's just energy. Okay. And when you know how to manipulate that energy, everything that that comes to you every bee every person everything comes and you give them life you give them air you give them encouragement sometimes you need this shit to hold back for yourself and i think that's why earth worship is here because you need to get your worship from lively things okay things that you perceive that may not be lively like feng shui and putting fountains in your house okay also making an altar reading up on things that you know to, to expand your mind all right scorpio you could have been somewhere reading and somebody was like yeah they would be somewhere reading yeah bitch you need to get a book too read your ass some shit okay you got sacred water so that means your vagina juice is very like sacred it could be like some healing particles in that motherfucker even if you're it's the semen there is something called semen magic okay where you could use your semen for magic i don't do all that shit because that shit is weird it's like i don't i don't know but i don't do all that but there is something like that but with sacred waters here this is talking about if you are using your sexual energy there's no reason for you guys to feel bad about your sexual energy we are the kings and queens of sexual energy so why would it be bad it's good to get your rocks off you know what i'm saying it's good to relieve yourself of any pent-up aggression it's just only good to do that with someone who is like-minded like yourself your sacred energy is the most powerful energy that's why every show is projecting sex and all this different shit okay you're about to have a really strong relationship or your daughter is or your son somebody hangs out with a little white girl or a little black girl and they are thick as thieves okay now this doesn't have to be your daughter okay this could be really you but you are bringing in a new friendship okay maybe every year you have like um a biracial relationship that you 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 know have and you never notice it but you do okay but this one could be a the, the ones in the past could have been all work relationships this could be your home girl okay your home girl could be white all right now somebody outside of you could have had this same relationship this could be your twin they were very close with a caucasian person or african-american person but with that um situation it was a wildcat it's not happening anymore someone's relationship has ended now with someone else there's a new one beginning so this could be a mirror situation and this is the same person who's thinking about you who normally when they're still and they're by themselves you're all they think about scorpio okay and this person thinks about the sacrifice that they make okay now this could be you or your person but somebody feels like their heart bleeds out for something else some kind of clarity some kind of new position but they can't take it they sacrifice for their family they sacrifice for their kids they sacrifice shit for for co-workers they'll sacrifice for any fucking body they don't really give a fuck okay but it's killing this motherfucker when blood bleeds out of you it's killing you also scorpios you could be falling on your cycle and you like god damn okay now with this cycle you're gonna bleed a lot of like harsh pains and let me tell you something about your cycle so when you have your menstrual period and it's extremely painful that's letting you know that the people around you during your menstrual cycle are not serving you no good i put this to the test when my menstrual cycle came on i made sure i ain't hang out with nobody my shit was breezy the minute i hung out with uh, a particular family member or to a particular friend my period was going fucking bonkers so that is a great indicator to let you know like this person is not supposed to be around you at this time okay um and you need to sacrifice whoever this is if your if your period is painful get the fuck away from this now if you live in a house with your partner and your partner is who is like sharing their shaft with people or sharing their yoni space with people it's going to be difficult but you do need to get the fuck away from this person okay Okay, because the next card we have is not everything is as it seems. Be cautious, dear one, for there is a story beneath of the tale. Okay, so somebody has made a lot of sacrifices. Okay, but these sacrifices went on deaf ears because somebody is going around telling Aesop tales. Okay, you know, uh, Jimmy got a corn and he gonna pick it. Okay, but Jimmy ain't got no motherfucking corn, nor does he have a fucking feeling. He had he don't got shit to pick. Okay, so somebody is going to be somebody's hand is going to be revealed with all of this stuff somebody is thinking about surrendering but it's very difficult they don't want to do that they're thinking in their head maybe i should just come clean maybe i should just say what it is but they haven't done that okay with indulgence they just been laying around being a bum okay uh with indulgence sideways when it upright that means goddess love you know you take care of yourself you looking good lotioning up but with 
with this sideways this is just like laying around not understanding what really is going on but with this laying around comes the sun god which is really good because this says come all come out come all come now expand into the sykes into the shadows below so this is really good this person is getting a lot of insight regardless if they're sharing anybody they are having a spiritual awakening it has been revealed to this person that they're sacrificing the wrong shit that their lives will be revealed but they're waiting on it to drop like a domino effect they want to surrender but they can't really trapping the ego with sun god this person is spending a lot of time by themselves which is also opening up a lot of understanding clarity somebody could text you out of the blue okay self-worship now somebody is thinking about doing mirror magic i ain't gonna flex on y'all i just started doing that shit okay now mirror magic is very very powerful so it's so funny for it to come out because look scorpios it ain't never came out okay with self-worship but this is when you look in the mirror and you be like you're so beautiful you're so graceful i love my breast i love my stomach i love my face i love my hips you know you just really per per worship yourself in the mirror this is very powerful because a mirror has multiple dimensions it's like dimension after dimension after dimension if you look at any horror movie they tell you about mirrors and they tell you to stay away from them and they only teach you the black magic to mirrors but if you get in the mirror and you be like my breasts look so good my body looks so good the reason why i kept saying my breasts is because you guys know i had insecurities about my breasts but doing this not mirror magic but just eating avocados every day really revived my breast back to normal okay which is a natural remedy that does not really even cost any fucking money all right but mirror magic is very um important so you need to worship yourself okay you need to um, my hands full as I speak to my stars watching as the sky holds its breath all right so really just get in the mirror and just be like you look good you feel good you look exceptionally well now there are a lot of changes that are happening in somebody's life sorry for the turbulence if it's too much please put the camera down um it's okay all right all right so there is a lot of um changes that are happening in somebody's life with this cow here and i feel like scorpio there's a lot of changes that are happening to you too scorpio your period is about to come on so you need to get ready for that it could be happening today or tomorrow may the embrace of all of this nourishing you awaken you to all that is becoming so i like i told you somebody is having a spiritual awakening they don't want to let everybody know that they had all these downloads they don't want to let everybody know that this is happening this is happening because somebody encountered their their twin we have growth here at the bottom of the deck in reverse somebody is trying their best to stay stuck they're trying to act like they didn't have this epiphany but it's okay god gonna get that ass don't worry okay <laughs> All right, so Scorpio, be very careful with your energy. If you are going to masturbate, just do it alone. Don't mix your energy up with anybody else. If you're going to do anything like this, like masturbate, it's not like I promote it, you know, looking at, you know, the P word. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying envision what you want. You know, don't envision your person because you will manifest them in an indirect way. Now, some of you guys did do that. Some of you guys met somebody new. You kind of like this person and you were doing a little something strange for a piece of change and you thought about them. This person did reach out to you. Y'all went for another run but it had died again because this is like manifesting when you masturbate and think about somebody you're manifesting them to come into your life a lot of you guys don't know that but then this person that was supposed to leave you guys run into an argument you're like well why did you come back they came back because you masturbated okay it says um create create move values okay be bold and be pinpoint on your outlook don't be afraid to show your true colors because you are unique and it was it was dedicated for your values from your social norms okay so scorpios you don't do things like regular people you don't do social norms you do your own norms you're not one of those people who be like oh you know i want to know what the trend is you don't give a fuck about what the trend is you set a trend your trend is your own trend you only focus on the shit that you got going on you only focus on the sneakers that you picking out you only focus on the shit that makes you happy you could be seeing 333 a lot and this 33 is just letting you know that the ascendant masters have your back this is a sign that you are vibrating very very high and your transformations are going to stick you now have have the courage to work out your creativity and self-expressions with no doubt so i feel like scorpio wherever you go you're very confident if you're a tarot card reader like i'm a tarot card reader if you're a health healer a reiki healer you say that if you say you're a shaman what the fuck is a shaman you know you like oh i don't know what a shaman is a shaman is a motherfucker who is enlightened okay so we really need to break down these words a shaman is somebody who sees a shaman is somebody who people goes to for advice most of these tarot card readers are shamans okay they didn't know maybe they was like oh, hum, yum, 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 hum, yum, somewhere in the woods you know what i'm saying but i do want to take some ayahuasca you know i don't know if i want to slap the shit out of people with leaves but if it do something good for you i'll come and slap the leaves in your on you you know what i'm saying so scorpio just know that whatever uh venture or whatever um downloads that these 
experiences take you to it's because you live many lives with them and no matter who you're talking to dating multiple lives you cross this person multiple lives y'all kissed multiple lives you communicated with this person that's why when you meet somebody for the first time it's like damn shawty we've been rocking since the first grade no bitch you met them yesterday but you've been rocking multiple lifetimes there was also something that i heard that i really want to share with you guys as well and it's talking about the strand dna activation okay so a lot of us is getting um higher strands the higher strands of our dna is being activated at this time uh, for the people who've done the work for the people who don't haven't done the work your dna activations will be happening at a later date you know after you get through all your karma after you drop all your dead weight after you make those un that necessary changes those necessary changes that you don't want to make well we ain't talking to those motherfuckers those probably those probably the cross, cross watchers who make a whole bunch of accounts endlessly just so they can say one thing to me to make a new account i'm like damn y'all dumb as fuck scorpio you are being drastically supported you are creating new values new ways new perspective innovative ways to make your work done to get your work done to help new people and a lot of people see that shit and they really really like it okay they really see the vision okay because a lot of people are tired of school they're tired of a nine to five it's time to release negativity all right so scorpio if there is somebody in your life that's very negative let them go okay this could be your person too as well if you feel like you know who your twin is this is the Scorpio energy something is dying baby something is dying like a motherfucker all right what else is coming on with this moon cycle somebody just hate running into you but they're so grateful that they do they want to do it again they don't know how to do it they're trying to manifest it they're trying to see if they're somebody is manifesting you somebody is putting manifestation to the test this is somebody who did not believe in manifestation right and they're like okay if this is real i'm gonna put out a decree i want to manifest this person i want to bump into this person this person did that this person manifest you they bumped into you and then when they did they wanted to see what the energy would be like and the energy was very very aggressive okay somebody is extremely sad you could tell yeah okay with focus here somebody's just not focused but they are focused on you scorpio they think about you all the time all right with this bullseye here this could be somebody who, who plays darts or they like darts or they have some kind of dart shit somewhere but they're really focused on you scorpio they think about you a lot you live rent free in somebody's head scorpio abundance is on its way to you i mean i don't even know what to say like if you could see shells if you were somewhere and this girl has shells in their hair or this dude in front of you that is another indicator that you know you got abundance coming to you but i feel like scorpio the money is coming if you every time you spend some money that should come back with an extra 20 on it every time you spend some money that should come back with an extra 40 on it everything that you circulate comes right back around to you scorpio and you starting to see that you like damn i'm kind of i'm kind of covered you know what i'm saying you like yeah all right it's because you surrender to what no longer serves you all right a lot of you guys have a little bit more to do with surrender and water sign because that's you okay there could be a water sign that really um is heavy in your energy that could be a pisces that could be a cancer that could be a scorpio okay they do want to surrender to you it feels like the universe is weighing this person down this person is having a hard time letting go of negative things that no longer serve them but it has been shown to them that this was a missed opportunity all right so somebody lost their keys all right somebody lost their car or somebody don't have a car or somebody is down to one car it says keep the doors open so you know what i'm saying there's an opportunity that was taken off the table this opportunity came with a new life abundance success and maybe even going to space okay this is space here okay i don't know what that is it could be it could mean so many different things with that space it could mean that you just are connected to the planets or something like that i don't want to take this it didn't jump out all right so somebody feels like this is a missed opportunity also somebody feel like god ain't covering them no more they're like damn like did god leave me alone like i don't know if that's who that is but scorpio you are protected you also know that your computers need to be covered up okay so let me let y'all know this if you have an iphone an android or whatever you may have that is your electronic device i don't give a fuck what it is please cover up all of the microphones especially if your daughter or your son walks around with their tablet cover something get a piece of tape all right and get some piece of paper and just cover the microphone predators watch the cameras okay they have access to these cameras especially if you don't have certain things on there and they watch y'all okay they watch your kids they watch all this shit so please 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 get a piece of tape and a paper and cover it or just get some little things that cover all the cameras on your phone now your microphone on your phone does the same thing so when you're having private conversations please 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 take that phone and get it out here there are spywares that you can get off the street 
treat to do this to somebody's phone so you can hear and watch everything that they do. I know it's like crazy. Like, you like, who the fuck got time for this? This wildcat is thinking about you, boy. All right. Now it says there is no other way around it, but but or through the very truth that lies within you. So somebody knows that the only way that they're going to get out of this situation, the only way that everything is going to go back to normal is if they fucking tell the truth. And they know that that's what it is. You know, they're trying their best to figure out how they're going to do. It, and they feel like they're not going to be protected until they tell the truth. I know that's the truth. The human brain is not designed for success. The human brain is designed for survival. Success is not normal. Success is not average. Success is not what most people experience. If you are trying to experience success, you need to rewire literally the neural pathways in your brain.